For cheap and reliable FIFA coins, go to fifacoinsland.com. It's over, guys. I can't believe it. We are out of the Champions League. Basel knocked us out and and I think it was because of Rogers' team selection. Don't give me the crap about anything else. Rogers fucked this up. Borini not even in the squad. Lalana, Coutinho, Markovic starting on the bench. Coutinho only coming on in a 72nd minute. And yeah, Markovic got sent off, which was another stupid decision, but don't blame the ref for, for this. We played terrible football for like 70, 75 minutes. And yes, Gerard did everything he could. That free kick was world class, but he needs a better team around him. We go out of the Champions League. We waited five years for this. Five years to, to qualify for the Champions League. And we can't even make the knockout stage. Unbelievable. Yes, we are through to the Europa League because Real Madrid beat Ludo Goretz, but it's just, not, it's just not good enough. If we lose to Man United and then Arsenal, Rodgers needs to go. I'm, I'm sorry, but yes, we are through to the Europa League and some say it's better that we can maybe go far in the Europa League instead of getting a big team like Bayern Munich and get smashed in the Champions League. But, but that's where Liverpool needs to be. Champions League year in year out and we can't accept mediocrity Rodgers can't expect mediocrity how could we not get just how could we get just one point against Basel when we spent 120 million in the summer that's just that's just not good enough I'm, I'm so disappointed so annoyed we, we showed no creativity no desire no real game plan that was my biggest disappointment we we looked like a bunch of individuals thrown together it's december why can't we see a pattern of play what is rogers doing on the training pitch with the players why can't we see a pattern of play we can't even figure out what what we are trying to play ricky lambert played four games in 10 days how can we expect a 32 year old to play that many games in a row as a starting striker and we don't even have Borini on the bench we played the second half with no striker what is that all about? the first half Basel took the lead brilliantly with uh, just three touches in the midfield and no player did contact with the, any of the Basel players the, and Alan Henderson uh, Lucas, nobody closed uh, the ball down, closed the player down who had the ball and they just did have three simple but clever passes, one fake shot and then Frey shoots to the far corner, Mignolet doesn't even move, he shakes his head after the goal but what are you shaking your head for when you don't even dive, if you don't dive for the ball how can you expect to save it, it's just throwing my head in this team, we played, we, we, I mean, Sturridge worked so hard last season, he scored 21 goals and he won't even play in the Champions League now because we are out before he gets fit. This is just a travesty, an absolute travesty. Anyway, let me know what are your thoughts in the comments below and leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, guys. Better days surely ahead because it can't get much worse than this. Going out of the Champions League, just embarrassing. We had only one win, and that was a lucky victory against Ludo Goretz. We could only win one game throughout the whole group stage. We don't deserve to be in the knockout stages. Let's be honest with the ourselves, guys, between you and me. Liverpool don't deserve to be in the Champions League knockout stages. If we can't beat Basel, if we can't beat Ludo Goretz away from home, we don't deserve to beat them. Simple as that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment. What are your thoughts? I'm devastated, man. Thanks for watching, see you later guys, goodbye!